Whirlpool Cabriol Dryer Model YWED5500XW0 Making a loud squealing noise when you start up Goes away after 5 minutes But very annoying Let's fix it. Let's take her apart this evening and see what it is. Now in my case, I'm just going to take the lint trap out. I'm going to take off the little shroud that attracts the lint and heat from the drum out through the blower and then she goes out through the pipe there in the back exits outside the building disconnect the power and change the reel so here we see the power is on we look here in the power panel it says the dryer is in 21D 23S so here we are here, 30 amp breaker, 21B, 23A. Shut that off, back to the dryer and look, the light you off, there's no power. On this we get four bolts to take out to take this front cover off. Too lazy to go with the proper wrench. Hopefully what this does is give me a little bit more room to get in there at the idler wheel, get it off, put the new one on. That's why I want to take all this front off the whole dryer, move the drum and all that. And here's the Whirlpool factory part, the idler pulley. Part number 279640. The parts bag comes with a new pulley, a little washer, and a little clip, a little plastic clip that holds it on the shaft. So what I'm going to attempt to do from here is reach in behind that little pulley you see back there, a little white pulley, and uh, get the little plastic clip off the black back, put on new pulley, then the washer, and then the little clip. See the idle wheel right here, it's on a spring, put tension on the belt. Here it is with the belt back on, see the belt comes off the bottom of the drum, goes around the pulley that way, goes back around the back side of the blower, back up under and it comes up around that side of the drum. If I turn the blower out here you'll see the belt turn on the new pulley, which in turn up top you can see the drum turning. Power back on. Let's start her up, see if the squeeze gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's the old idler pulley. Doesn't really look like anything wrong with it. However, I did put some silicone grease in the shaft a couple of times. It still didn't get rid of the noise. Well, let's put her back together. That takes four screws to hold her on.
the front back on. Much better.